Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I've had a couple days to mess with my DJI Osmo and I uh, wanted to give you all a little feedback on it and a little walkthrough on the app itself. I am very impressed with this gimbal. It has a ton of features and definitely, definitely, definitely has a universal experience whether it is on my iPhone or if it's on any of my Android phones. So that is a plus for people that switch phones regularly or just like to hop between uh, operating systems. The app itself is the DJI Go app. Not the 2.0, I'm sorry, not the 4.0 app. Just the DJI Go app. There is a difference. They do not all feature the same functionality. Um, as you can see in one of my other videos, the 4.0 app really is just for my Mavic, whereas the Go app is what I use for my um, Osmo. Really quickly, you can see here, the interface is super clean and easy to use. Um, it shows you whether you're connected or not to Bluetooth, switching between the camera functions, um, what kind of photo mode you want, single panorama, long exposure, as well as all the uh, sub-menus for those. You have your shutter button, you have your button to switch your camera around, you have your library key, You have your camera settings itself if you want to mess with the resolution or the white balance or the flash or whatnot. You have your scenic modes. And you have your setting for your camera and your gimbal itself if you need to calibrate it or any of that sort of thing. You can also set up your live stream right here if you wanted to live stream to Facebook or YouTube. and make it super simple to do that. As you can see, it comes out of the box in tap to focus mode which is what we're all used to. You just tap the screen and it'll focus on whatever you want. However, if you're connected to your gimbal, which I'm not right now, if you tap it, it'll give you the option for active track. Uh, again, in my testing in the last few days, it works flawlessly. It's pretty well um, put together. Another really neat feature is back in here, if you go into the uh, shooting modes and all that, the panorama mode gives you an option for 180 degrees and 330 which obviously is almost a complete circle. Uh, it stitches everything together pretty flawlessly. It works great. Um, all you literally have to do is hold the gimbal and it auto adjusts for where the best, uh, the best scene will take place at. If you wanna see something interesting though, on the app itself, if you actually scroll right to the front of what you wanna to connect to, it shows the Mavic Pro. This will not connect to the Mavic though, it caused a lot of people issues, it caused myself some issues when I first got my Mavic. Uh, it will not sync, you have to use the uh, 4.0 app, which again, will enable you to pull up the connection on this. But that's for another video, I just wanted to give you all a quick run through of the, fit, uh, the settings on the gimbal and the DJI Go app. I hope this helps clarify some things for y'all.